Okay, so again, the strategy is the same. And what you're gonna do is the LC day, let me write that down for you. The LC day is x cubed minus x. And if you factor that, let's go through that, that would give you x, you get x squared minus one. And it's also, uh, if you wanna factor that, which I recommend you do, x plus one, x minus one. So that's what the LCD is, x cubed minus x, or simply x times x squared minus one, or simply x times x plus one, x minus one. The full factorization is nice to have, by the way. So let's write this down. We're gonna multiply both sides. And what would you get? And you'd get something pretty simple. You get x squared plus seven x minus two equals, well, let's take a look. If I did the a times that, I'm um, the a over x times that, what do you get? Well, you're gonna get a, and then you're gonna get x squared minus one. Let's go to the b term. What's that gonna give me? b, you would get x, and then you get x plus one. And then I get the c, that's gonna be c times x, times x minus one. What we're gonna do now is take this equation we have down over here, and we're gonna pick very simple numbers for x. The simplest number I could think of is x equals zero. And what would that give me? On the left side, you would get minus two. And on the right side, what do you get? Well, the b would disappear, the, the b term would disappear, and the c term disappears. What are you left off with? Minus a. What does this tell me? a is two. All right, let's pick another easy number. I'm gonna say x equals one now. Now again, if you do that, you have to evaluate the left and the right side. And the left side would be one plus seven. Well, one plus seven is eight, and eight minus two is six. And what do you get here? By the way, a is two. Let me get my ratio. It looks like it's z, but it's not, it's two. All right, so if I chose one, you know what happens? The a disappears because you know one squared is one and one minus one is zero. Well, what do I get for the b term? Well, I'll write this down, b. You would get one times two, so two b. So I know b now is three. Let's take another number. I'm gonna choose minus one now. And what do you get there? Well, you get one minus seven. Well, that's minus six. Minus six minus two is minus eight. That's the left side, that's done. On the right side, well, you know, minus one squared is one and one minus one is zero, so the A disappears. The B will disappear, and then I get this C business. And what's that gonna be? Well, let's take a look. You get minus one times minus two, which is two. So what's the C gonna be? The C would be equal to minus four. I wanna write it down, though, and just see what this looks like. And the A, I determined was two, so it's two over X. And then the b was three, so three over x minus one. And the c was minus four, so minus four over x plus one. And that's really our goal, by the way. But what's their question? What's the a, the b, and the c? So this is my answer. And I wanna encourage you to look at the k. A is two, b is three, c is minus four. Thank you.